In this problem, we are asked how much energy is imparted to an electron as it flows through a six volt battery from the positive to negative terminal. And we need to express our answer in autojoules. So we're dealing with a battery right here. We can draw this. We will make a rectangular figure with two points like this, a positive and a negative. And it's asking us how much energy is imparted to an electron as it flows through the battery from positive to negative. So it's going from the positive end to the negative end like this. It has six volts and it is a electron. We need to find how much energy is imparted. To find how much energy, energy is measured in joules. And to find this, we will use watts because we are given the voltage and also a charge, which is our electron. If we look at the notes linked below, in section 1.4, we are given the equation V is equal to the change of work divided by the change of energy. And if we rewrite this, because we want to find our watts right here, so the we'll have dW be on the left side, the equal side, we will make this be dW is equal to voltage times the charge or change in charge, which is dQ. Well, from here, we know that our voltage is just going to be six volts, and we know that our charge is by our electron. So we put E. And if we Google this, the charge of an electron is 1.6, or it's approximately 1.6 times 10 to the 19th coulombs. So we can plug this into a calculator and see what we get. From here, after we plug this in, we are going to get that the change of work is equal to 9.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And this is coulombs times the voltage. Coulombs times the voltage can be rewritten, so this is equivalent to joules. If I wanted to, I could just take all this out, and I'll just move it up here, and I'm going to rewrite down here, joules. We need to convert this to AJ, or auto joules. We can look a little bit up more in our notes, and see it on the table. So we're gonna put this over one, and we are going to multiply this to make this an AJ, or auto joules. So we know for our one autojoule, we have 10 to the negative 18th joules. And then when we cancel out our j's, we're going to be left with this. And then we can get the difference between our negative 19 and our negative 18. So we'll get rid of this one, and we're just going to be left with really a negative one right here. So what we can do is we can move this over one slot. And if we do that, we are going to get that our answer is equal to 0 0.96 autojoules. And that is the answer to this problem.